But there are unique toxicities associated with the CAR modified T cells as you know slightly different than conventional chemotherapy. So any any therapy has a you know toxicity associated with it. The conventional chemotherapy usually for myelosuppression is infectious risk. And then the CAR modified T cells, what's been reported uh, across various institutions who are using a lot of trials using this technology, is a cytokine release syndrome. Um, so that is a result of an activated T cells, as the T cells are working very hard against, you know, the killing the cancer cells within the body, they expand, and as a result of it, the cytokines, pro-inflammatory cytokines get released, and the patients experience fever, low blood pressure sometimes, and then the breathing problems. However, having said that, it's a unique toxicity now that we, an we can anticipate that there are ways that we can predict who's likely going to have this type of cytokine release syndrome and the severity of it. The patients who have a very large amount of the disease actually tend to have a more degree or severe degree of cytokine release syndrome because the T-cell expansion is just that much robust. Um, to do that. But now there are ways to, so you can predict who's going to have it, patients with a large amount of disease. There are some laboratory blood markers that we can follow in daily basis, and they kind of predict they're heading that way. And third, there are now ways that we can e effectively mitigate this effect using either IL-6 receptor inhibitor that a lot, uh, a lot of us and other institutions have used, or the short dose of the short duration of the steroid maybe uh, also is effective in uh, uh, ameliorating the cytokine release syndrome as well. So if you anticipate them, these can be reversed and be uh, effectively managed.